have with us an upcoming Indian band who says it's high time that mass audience should start taking rock music on a more serious note. So please welcome Crimson Wood. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys all standing so seriously. It's <laughs> <laughs> a more to. unplugged, very chilled out interview. So we'll start with a very uh, self-introduction session. Uh, my name is Justin and I finished my engineering and yeah, I've been done. Uh, I'm Ashwin. Uh, I'm studying for CA right now, and uh, I'm the bass guitarist for the band. Okay. I am Srinath and I do the vocals. I'm Matthew, I play the guitar. I'm Rohit and I play the drums. So all of you are based in Trivandrum itself? Or? Yeah, except no. for him. Except for him. I'm from Cochin. So you come all the way from Cochin? <laughs> To Not practice with the band and all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how did you guys actually come together? See, I started the band in 2007. I really liked music. So, when I started, Ashwin, well, me and Ashwin were classmates from Fifth Standard onwards. So, he came in as the bassist. And uh, we used, uh, both of us knew Matthew from school. He used to be our senior. So, he came in as the guitarist. And I've uh, I met Justin for a concert. And through another vocalist, uh, I met uh, Srinath. So that's how the whole so, But then how did the band form? Yeah. That's how we came together and we started jamming and things like that. We played a couple of shows in 2007 and 2008. But uh, we started playing real serious stuff from last year onwards. So and from that's where we've been going. That's and been how did you come up with the name Crimson Wood? Well, actually, uh, the name came because uh, Justin's friend suggested the name to us and we thought it was good. But, the but there must have been some message, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, crimson wood actually wood stands uh, denotes the cross, the cross, and uh, crimson is the actual color of the blood. So crimson wood means blood stained cross, means Jesus because, died for uh, us. All so of us are from a Christian background, so it influences whatever we write in our music. So we you know we are things that we uh, issues about life. We look at in a Christian point of view because that's what we've been brought up to. So that's basically why, and uh, we could connect with the name, so we thought, yeah, it sounds great, so why not? Okay, and the basic genre you guys play is like uh, metal? Like Alternative, you know, mix like so. of... Yeah. Whatever you want to call it, it's music. Okay, and who writes the lyrics out here? Uh, I do. Okay, the vocalist itself <laughs> writes the lyrics. So can we have a song from Crimson Wood? Uh, yeah. Small two lines or something. Give back what you took from me from the time I was born to the time I died Give back what you took from me From the time I was born to the time I died Give back what you took from me From the time I was born to the time I died Give back what you took from me From the time I was born to Thank you, that was a fabulous performance. And uh, Srinath, how did you come up with the lyrics for the song? It depends. Uh, how do you come up with the subject actually? I'm not like a very, you know... Pro writer. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like that. Like, you know, people usually write, supposed to be like great thinkers and read a lot and things like that. I, I never read any book. Yeah, none of them. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, none of those things a uh, songwriter should be. I, uh, like Chaksi said, we basically write stuff that that comes out of life experiences and things like that. So, uh, if I'm low or if I'm happy, and I always write down stuff. I just, sometimes I'm in the bus, I just type it on my phone and I'll say it. Okay. Sometimes I'm in the bathroom, I'll, I'll, <laughs> no. I'll, like, do it. I'll run out and I'll run it, you know, I'll write it down, you know. So it depends uh, where you get it. So uh, we've we've written songs on different subjects. Yeah. So it has come on different circumstances.
Which is the first song you guys create as a band? I think it was Give Back. But uh, yeah. Give Back, yeah, give it was Give Back. Okay, how did that happen? How was that experience like actually? Was there a clash between the ideas or something? No, no, Give Back no. is a, it's a totally different story. Yeah. What happened is, uh, like, like Chaksi said, they had a band before Crimson Wood. Huh. It was this vocalist called Jeevan. Hmm. He actually hooked me up with Chaksi and that's how Crimson Wood started. Okay. Uh, he wrote this song with uh, a guitarist of another band called White Noise. So, Give Back is his song. He wrote that song. We just, just changed it to... We just, just changed it a little bit. The way you wanted it to yeah, sound. Yeah. Yeah. And were there clashes in between between the ideas or something? Oh, that happens always actually. All the, yeah. time. All the songs we have like different everybody is listening to different genres. So uh -huh. we have major clashes in the Yeah, it's I I'm a big fan of metal music so and uh, Basically what we end up doing is we try to incorporate all these things into the song. Yeah, yeah. So what happens is like you say, oh that's not good. That's not good that's and not good. Okay, that doesn't sound good. So we end up like, okay, what does sound good? Yeah. So do you guys feel bad like supposing you given an idea and he says it's no, no, that totally take, sucks. You know, it's yeah. like uh, somebody makes a skeleton of the song hmm. and then uh, we record it and then uh, we pass it on to the others and then we uh, keep listening to it and then like we uh, give new ideas to the song to like change the structure here and there. That's how we come up with the final song. Okay. Like usually he comes up with the riffs, yeah. the guitar riffs and all that. No, he's, he's not a very good drummer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he plays guitar really well. So my king was started by him. Yeah. Uh, he he came up with this riff. I, me and him we were in, the, in his house and he just showed me this riff. He's like da 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 da. I was like, dude, that's catchy. You know, it sounds good. And uh, we just left it at that. Mm. Then I went home and I was visiting one of my friend's place and I saw this particular video on YouTube mm. about this old uh, preacher. He's, he, he passed away. Uh, it's, this, it's this spontaneous sermon he's speaking about Jesus Christ and you know, things like very spontaneous and it's rhyming and it, it's, it's pretty amazing. You should listen to it. Uh, so when I, when I saw that, I got inspired. I was like, wow, I should. I thought, okay, maybe I can write a song like, you know, inspired from what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And that's the time when Chaksi had wrote that riff. You know? So, uh, I came to practice next time. I told them, like, dude, this is the idea. Uh, check this out. And so, that's how we ended up putting that little clipping before our song. If you mm -hmm. listen to our song, My King, before um, our song, this For almost clipping. 37 seconds, that is this yeah. speech. So. This is speech. No means a measure can define his limitless love. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of his shoulder supply. No barriers can hinder him from pouring out his blessing. Well, well, he's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's infuriously powerful. He's impartially magical. That's my key. That's so can we have two lines of that also? Uh, yeah. My king is a way, my king is a truth, my king is a light of my 